人生。This is already the best I can do. I just got the assignment today. The confession's about done. Enough to get you arrested. Huh? There are seven spies in total. I only planted six. Looks like Mr. Supreme isn't all that. You're good in every way, except you're boring. I've told you everything. Aren't you going to let me explain a little more? Give you some advice? Teaching? That costs extra. You just told me to go check, see how many were disguised. You never said I had to check how many were inspectorate people in disguise. I'm telling you an extra one. That guy carrying the pole? Since we showed up, has walked back and forth three times. His steps are light, shoulders level. People who carry poles all year round have one shoulder higher than the other, and their steps are uneven. Among the vegetable sellers, there's one. When people ask the price, he's not interested in answering. Instead, he's closely watching his surroundings. The couple buying jewelry looks like they're picking out something, but they don't care about the style or price. Add those two porters, and that makes six people. Don't move. Stay still. What are you doing? Let go of me. Hands off. Let's go. Why are you dragging me? Chief, madam, what's going on over there? Stop looking. Let's go. A few people disguised themselves as our guild members and got on the boat. Our guys caught them. Disguised? They said the roads aren't safe, and pretending to be from our guild would be safer. They had no other choice. All right then, take them back, and talk to them. No problem. I'll be sure to give them a good lesson. I meant take them back and have a proper conversation. Ask them what they're doing, how many of them there are, and how many times they've done this. Go. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Move it. Stay still. Let's go. About the matter of killing the crown prince, I can't figure it out either. We've had operations like this before, where multiple groups work together, but without communicating, to make sure the mission is foolproof. Roy is Autumn's subordinate. Half of what he says is true, half false. Hard to judge. I found the notes left by the former chief. At the end of every year, in all the guilds Mr. Supreme controls, the most profitable one gets a special meeting with the Scion. Making money is exactly what Autumn wants. If we want to meet the Scion without raising suspicion, this might be the best way. You've agreed to work together? This document records the current earnings of all the guilds. Given the strength of our guild right now, the biggest competitor is Magpie Restaurant. Magpie Restaurant? It can make so much money? Yes. Last time when I met Mr. Supreme, I didn't notice anything special about it. There might be other ways. We could... Ferry people across with boats. Not bad. You catch on quick. Look at this. Look at this! It's a great idea, isn't it? So many tickets have been sold already. Show some appreciation. Your hair's messed up. Huh? Again? <laughs> just so you know, your inspectorate's badge is really cheap. Wears out just from wearing it. What is this thing? Secret code book. Just for you and me. Keeps things safe. It's a tapping code? 
Combined with Mr. Supreme's secret code system. Makes it easier for you to get the hang of it. Makes sense. Or maybe it's just easier for you to copy. Where are you going? Need your help with the accounts. <sighs> Even though... You're not that afraid of me anymore, but what time is it now? If I don't boil medicine for you now, what if you relapse one day? You want me to kill you while you're sparring with me? Childish. Is this really Mr. Supreme and the Inspectorate? Ah, she treats your illness. You buy her hairpins. If I hadn't seen it myself, I wouldn't believe it. I really can't deal with you two. Then hurry back to the capital. Mr. Supreme's almost killed me already. Aren't you worried about the dangers on the way? What if something happens to me again? Look at this. The man in the portrait. Does he look like you at all? That's the problem. I keep feeling like she's hiding something. Cooperation needs sincerity. Be open and where you can. Autumn wants to stop her cooperation with the inspectorate. So she gave her false information to make us suspicious. That makes sense too. Then, couldn't this be a trick from Su Wen? Well, we'll need to test that more. Something's wrong. Take good care of him. Do it secretly. Understood. left that needed to be sold quickly? Huh? I worked hard to sell them. And now you tell me they're gone? It's Mr. Saul. He sold them. He just beat you by a bit. If we cancel now, there won't be another chance next time. We're on the same side here. But madam, we're not even in business. No need for all this. It's not about business. It's about pride. Well... You can talk to Mr. Saul. Their whole family bought them. If they cancel, I'll give you back right away. Hurry, hurry! Keep up! These are all puppet show props. I made a deal with them. If you break one, it's ten times the cost. Whoever breaks it pays for it. Move it! Keep up! Huh? Madam. Aren't you that, Roy? <laughs> yeah. What are you doing here? After Elder Easton left, I got sent to work at the docks. I just got promoted recently because of my performance. Who promoted you? That guy I fought with, Gideon. Gideon? <laughs> yeah, we became friends after fighting, so we're kind of close. Oh. Uh, is Mr. Saul around? The chief's looking for uh, him. He should be. I've been moving stuff here. Haven't gone inside. All right, madam, I'll get back to work. Watch your step! Don't break anything! Mr. Saul! Mr. Saul? Madam, I'll get back to work now. Watch your step! Don't break anything! In broad daylight, Saul Yu was carried off, and Gideon just happened to ask me to find him. So suddenly, it must be... Kite! Come take a look! Back to the point. 
Those six people were right, weren't they? What about the extra one? <laughs> he talked to you for so long. Didn't you notice anything? Gideon? We planted him in the inspectorate years ago. No background. He's a sleeper. Sleeper? Only the person who assigns sleeper's mission knows their identity. They arrange a secret code. If the code isn't shared, even if they have to fight Mr. Supreme, they'll carry it out. Let alone you couldn't find out, even I didn't know. It wasn't until he sent word for me to pick up the portrait. So you all went to great lengths to awaken someone who's hidden so deeply. Hmm? I'm not finished. Don't rush to argue with me. The way you talk now isn't much better than how I was. Two tigers can't share one mountain. Only people who are alike dislike each other. I pretended to care so much just to get more information from you. How was my acting? Not bad, huh? Indeed. If I hadn't already known who you were, I would have believed it. <laughs> if you just spent more time studying your craft, like I do, you'd pull it off too. Come on, keep going. You're right. Once a sleeper is awakened, it's to carry out a critical mission. I suspect he's going to assassinate the Crown Prince. But if so, what are you going to do? Chief, I won't dare again. Please don't punish me. Then when you killed Saul Yu, why didn't you think about that? I was really forced. Chief! Chief! Um, Madam opened the box at the door, found it empty, and... and left. Where is she? I... lost her, I... don't know. Don't know. She disappeared. Chief, my mother is in their hands. They woke me up to complete this mission, and then go to the place on the paper. Once I return, I'll be free. Reporting back to Autumn? Yes. It's Autumn. Then how did you know? Saul Yu is the Crown Prince? The portrait Autumn gave was of him. Then what about my wife? She sent someone to kill him. So why would she let my wife do it? I don't know. I was just following orders. You know my methods. Chief, I really don't know. Come in. Chief. How's the situation handled? His Highness has already been taken by our people. The medicine was strong, though. He was still asleep when we took him. Did you get the address? Do you think Madam is hiding there, too? I asked. Did you get the address? Gideon must not have known. When we caught him, the note wasn't even open. He shoved the note in his mouth. We didn't even have time to see it. Maybe. You, you can ask me. I know this city pretty well. I can help you think. In this city, what place is the busiest, most crowded? The west side is mostly residential. The east side is busy. Huh? There's a street called Market Street. It's really lively. So on that street, which restaurant does the best business? Restaurant? I can't afford to eat out. At most, I buy snacks at Mingji Pastries. Mingji Pastries. Magpie Restaurant?
you're here. Take one more step forward, and this place will blow up. I advise you not to act rashly. The portrait I'm holding is fake. Sal Yu is the crown prince. Right? Whether it's true or not, you know better than anyone. Gideon led me to find Sal Yu. Was that your doing too? Why bother? If you were trustworthy, you wouldn't be here. And you? You're with the Inspectorate. But you can also sway the Crown Prince. Who are you, really? Your phobia of women seems to be getting better. Of course. Maybe that's fake too. Doing what we do. Everything should be fake. You and I both know that. Even if we were truly colleagues, we might still hide things from each other. I was being unreasonable. Your analysis is right. Saul Yu is the Crown Prince. I'm... his attendant. An attendant of such high status? Even though he's the master, and I'm the servant, we grew up together, so he's like a little brother. I'm not Frost's subordinate. I'm in charge of the Inspectorate. Really? Good. You don't want to ask anything else? If I ask more, will I get different answers? All right, you can go. I want to be alone for a while. Let's go together. This matter. Go! I said leave! Silly woman! You'll see! Madam! This, this is beyond my control. You, you can't blame me. What's going on? All these were carefully selected for you. Stop being angry. Let's go back. <laughs> Neil, you! Don't give me that wooden face. Do you think you're a tutor or something? Who wants your stupid gifts? Listen up! You silly man. I want your heart. You're cold as ice. You don't deserve to have a woman. Go away. What are you doing? <laughs> Enough with the act already. We... What happened to you? 